Do you know who the first woman to be in the war was? It was Deborah Sampson, a woman who fought for equal rights. Deborah moved a lot when she was young, and once she found a suit that someone wore in the Revolutionary War, Deborah tried the suit on, and she looked like a boy. Then she had an idea. She could pretend to be a man in the Revolutionary War so she could fight for freedom. She signed up for the war, but they figured out she was Deborah Sampson. Deborah signed up in another town, and it worked. She, pre she pretended her name was Robert Sherliff. Even though she did not go to school very often, she got a job as a school teacher. When Deborah was in the Revolutionary War, she got shot in the leg and neck. Deborah told the doctor about the bullet in her neck. Deborah took the bullet in her leg out by herself with a pocket knife and bandages. Deborah was the first woman to be in the war. Deborah's secret was discovered when she painted in, in Philadelphia because a sickness was going around. Deborah's house is still standing today in Sharon, Massachusetts. She also has a street named after her. Deborah's house is still standing today in Sharon, Massachusetts. She also has a street named after her. If you're very brave, then you should vote for Deborah Sampson. She took a bullet out of her leg by herself with a pocket knife from bandages. That was pretty impressive. You should also vote for Deborah Sampson because she made it so a woman could be in the war.